Hey guys, um, a few weeks ago I found the awesome YouTube channel of Alexander Rüffer. Um, that's another German guy and he's basically building a DIY robot in his garage. And he also has an ATC spindle and he found an yeah, incredibly simple but yeah, genius way to utilize the cheap Chinese 3D touch probes that we all use yeah, with his ATC spindle and basically what he's doing is um, he uses these kind of cheap magnetic pogo pin connectors that you can get for a few cents from yeah China or eBay or Amazon. Basically, he yeah he took a USB-C cable, cut it in half, soldered the one end to this yeah let's say male side of the connector. The other end is connected to the spindle. And whenever you load the yeah, probe with your ATC spindle, the connection will be established by these magnetic pogo pins. And this is, yeah, it's genius. I wonder why no one had the idea before. And I thought, yeah, I have to copy that for my system. And let's see how that works. Great, right? And of course, this also works with my ATC rack. So let's unload the probe. And what's even more genius, um, Alexander triggers the probe right after he picks it up to verify that the connection has been established and i'm doing the same so basically the machine picks up the probe and then it does a quick trigger or probing move against the edge of my machine bed and only if the system reads that trigger so that i know the connection has been established correctly the machine proceeds to the two lengths measurement and if the connection does not work and this probing trigger is not read correctly, then the system will go to stop and wait for user input. And now let's see how this loading mechanism looks like. Yeah, I love it. It's genius. And once again, it was not my idea. Um, it was Alexander Rüffer's idea. Check out his channel. And yeah, thanks for watching and bye.